on June 23rd, 2008, I had a car wreck. In this car wreck, the airbag was deployed, and I was exposed to the uh, poisonous gas in the uh, airbag called sodium azide. I ingested this poison. Six days later, I wound up in intensive care from a uh, sodium azide poisoning. Breathing this gas that is formed from sodium azide can be toxic. Sodium azide prevents the cells of the body from using oxygen. When this happens, cells die. Sodium azide is more harmful to the head and brain, to the heart and brain, as the heart and the brain use a lot of oxygen. The immediate signs and symptoms of uh, sodium exposure to sodium azide are rapid breathing, restlessness, dizziness, weakness, headaches, nausea or vomiting, rapid heart rate, red eyes, exposure from the gas and the dust, clear drainage from the nose, cough, which is from uh, exposure to the dust or the gas, skin burns and blisters. I had 98% of all the symptoms I mentioned to you. I spent six days in the hospital, three days in the intensive care, trying to get my heart rate down from uh, 142 beats per minute. Normally, it's 62 beats per minute, which so it rose almost two and a half times my normal heart rate. I don't drink, and I don't smoke, and I don't do drugs. So, uh, I shouldn't have a problem with a heart rate. After finding out that I was exposed to a chemical that causes medical condition, which is what the lung specialist told me, that I had come in contact with a chemical that was causing this, and the only thing I had come in contact with previously was a... Uh, a car wreck where I had exposed, I remember coughing up, coughing from the exposure of the, of the powder or the dust in my mouth. So I had ingested sodium azide. This lung special said that they, this was causing medical problems. Some chemical. I read re researched it and it was sodium azide and found that I had the majority of the symptoms from having a light exposure to it. Not the heavy. And heavy, it's almost opposite. Where my heart rate went up, heavy exposure makes your heart rate go down. I contacted Ford in a, I said about six months ago, and they have requested medical records, uh, evidence of the car wreck, pictures of the car wreck, and such. They refused to uh, acknowledge that their responsibility uh, for it. The material safety data sheet explains all this. Ford knows what's in the airbag, so does the manufacturer of the sodium azide. Ford now claims that they just have simply had a not have not had enough time to uh, examine the material. This is from the legal department. I would guess not with over 200 pages of medical records and uh, research that I did on my own. If you had a car wreck at the time of a car, if you had a car wreck and then you had a heart attack or had a heart attack and they think it was caused from a car wreck, sodium I can cause you to have a car wreck. I mean, excuse me, sodium aside can cause you to have a heart attack. So, whenever you hear of a person having a wreck and they said that the wreck was caused because this person had a heart attack, this person more likely had a wreck, was exposed to the airbag because of their health conditions, the sodium azide caused them to have a heart attack. You can contact Ford at crcfm at ford.com and complain and question about the sodium azide. I'm going to send Ford this link. I want everybody to pass this link around. Get as many hits, make it go viral on the internet. We need them to know what's going on. I suffered burns and blood.